slowing the breath down and centering your mind, bringing awareness to this present moment. So just experiencing whatever is going on in this moment in your body, noticing your energy level, Notice where your thoughts are and just harness the focus into the breath. Three more rounds, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And then continue slow deep breathing while we do our yoga asana, the postures from Hatha Yoga for radiant physical health to give you energy, good circulation, flexibility and balance, all of that, just from simple poses. So come on to all fours with the hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna round the back cat to cat, scared cat on exhale. Inhale, arch, cow, and repeat, cat, cow on your own, warming up the spine gently. Inhale the arch, exhale to round. And then from all fours, stretch your right leg back and up with the toes pointing down. Sunbird pose, sunbird, balancing. The left arm comes up as the right leg stretches back. Focus on one point on your mat and breathe, slow breath, steady the breath, steady the mind. After five breaths, switch sides. Left leg comes up with the toes pointing down. The right arm comes up by the ear, holding for five slow deep breaths, sunbird pose. Back to all fours. Okay, Ardha Vaishastasana. I'm saying that probably wrong. <laughs> Half hero. So from all fours, you're going to take your left foot behind the right on the big toe side of the foot. Line up your right hand, right knee, and left foot. Stretch the left arm up with the arms like a T-shape. Hold and breathe. Balancing. It's helpful if you focus on the core behind the navel and extend the tailbone towards the left heel. If it feels good, take the left arm over the ear. Get a nice side stretch. About five breaths and then you'll switch sides. From all fours, right foot behind left on the big toe edge. Precisely line up left hand under the shoulder. And then on the ground, draw a line. Left hand, left knee, right foot, straight line. Right arm goes up and hold. Half hero, balancing, breathing. Optional, take the arm over the ear for an extended side stretch. And release, back to all fours. Okay, from all fours, walk your hands one hand's length in front of the shoulders, fingers spread wide, curl the toes under, and yes, you guessed it, the downward dog. As T.S. Little in New Mexico used to say when I took with him in college, he said, another day, another dog. So here you go, lift the hips. You can start with the knees bent, push the floor away from you, getting length to the spine, stretching just like the dogs. Over time, the heels can go back and down. Adho Mukha Svanasana, slow deep breathing. And then from there, you're going to shift to plank. If any of this hurts, skip it or lower the knees. Otherwise, body in a straight line for core strength. Shoulders over wrists, heels press back, hold and breathe. Okay, the upward facing dog. Roll through to the tops of feet, lift the thighs, tuck the tailbone under, shoulders back and hold. Breathing. Curl the toes under, navel to spine, roll it back down, dog. 
Okay, now for more gentle, you can lower the knees down and rest in child pose. For not so gentle, a little more vigorous yoga break, we're gonna do five times down dog to up dog. They do this in the five Tibetan rites of rejuvenation, one of their five exercises. So you go inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, and your own with breath four times. Feel when you go to down dog, navel to spine, try to roll back like a wave, be fluid. Energizing the body, feeling your strength in the mind and the body. It's a short break, so don't save your energy. Give it your all, as long as that feels good. Try after your fifth round, hold your dog pose. And then take your left leg up. Bend the left knee, left heel, the right buttocks. Flip the dog, optional, take the left foot back. Lift the hips, left arm by the ear, and open the heart. Slowly back to down dog, second side, right leg up. Bend the right knee, right heel, the left buttocks, optional. Flip the dog, turn the toes forward, right arm up, and hold. Open the heart. Exhale, back to down dog. Good work. On to all fours, rest back, hips to heels. If you like, arms by your heels. Balasana, child pose, curl in a ball and relax. Sitting tall, this is just a very brief break, so we'll do two more poses. Cross your legs. Simple twist. You're going to take your right hand behind, left hand to right leg, hold and breathe. Spinal twist. Try to relax the back. Let the exhale guide you into the twist with no strain. Three to five breaths, and then you'll switch sides on your own. Left hand back, right hand to left leg. Hold and breathe. Hatha yoga, this is hatha yoga, means sun and moon yoga. It's the postures, the breathing, pranayama, relaxation, meditation after yoga asana. It's so needed now to keep the body and mind healthy. If you're working from home or at home, great practice to do live classes, videos on your own. Okay, good work. We're going to end one more asana, viparita karani, legs up on the wall pose. So you come up close to the wall. Find a wall at home. You can use a chair, if not. And then you're going to roll to the side, trying to have your buttocks against the wall. Legs up the wall. Arms relax, about a foot from the hips with the palms skyward. If you have a pillow for under your head, you're welcome to do that. Close your eyes and then settle into the posture. Observe the breath allowing blood to flow to the heart. So let go of all effort, the mind and the body relaxing. Just being with what is in this moment. This posture rejuvenates the legs and the body, blood flowing back to the heart with ease. This can help your blood pressure, calms the mind, can even boost the immune system. So you can stay longer if you're at home, perhaps hold another few minutes. If you just wanted a short break from your desk at home working or a yoga break, then we can end here. So let's take a deep breath in, deep breath out. If you want to join in, we'll end with the sound of OM, A-U-M, Universal Mantra. So rub the hands together, thumbs to the sternum, 
As you close the eyes, focus at the heart and feel the sound current, Om, one round. Feel it vibrating every cell in the body and every organ. Breathing in. Om Shanti 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 Om Peace 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 Bowing the head to the heart Thank and honor yourself for giving yourself a 10 minute break an hour is even better, so if you have time today and you're at home, enjoy a long practice. But otherwise, enjoy this 10-minute break. I'm offering these live classes now so you can stay healthy, try to keep the mind calm, and to inspire you to do your yoga. I do have longer um, online courses, seven of them in fact, with chair yoga, hatha yoga, gentle yoga, meditation, and a 33-hour chair yoga teacher training. So those have extensive um, 30 to 60 minute classes and, and much more. If you're interested, it's on sunlightyoga.com. If not, just continue on my facebook.com slash yoga and chairs page. And there's a setting where I think you can be notified of live classes. And then I'll um, continue with these breaks in the next few weeks to keep you uh, motivated doing your yoga at home. Have a great day. Namaste.